Hey clones, get broomed up and come on down to Waffle Smurf, home of Alpha Complex's favorite rectangular food product. Now with 30% more indentations. And don't forget our famous dessert topping with the viscosity you know and love. Choose from almost five flavors, green, red, gray, and industrial rainbow. Red dessert topping not currently available at any Waffle Squarf location. And remember, there never was a red dessert topping. Waffle Squarf, it's fun, it's delicious, it's mandatory. Who would like to give a brief summary of what we got up to and where we left off? Right. So we had to go to push a button in a room. We found the room had been destroyed, collapsed upon. There's some kind of vat oozing a seemingly limitless amount of red goop that is flooding the floor. And there's like trash compactor monster at the bottom of all of the goop on the floor below to which we lost a couple of good clones in my (laughs) record in my recollection oh um we kicked it in the eyeball head which made it deactivate so we're safe for now i think we still have to get around to the button pushing yeah well and grade uh, my grade my review (laughs) yeah i i think the one thing we're here to unplug something right unplug it and then plug it back in and plug it back in that's right we don't know what we're not. Yeah, we're, we weren't told what there is. The source of the goo seems to be uh, on the floor. That's two floors up from where the tentacle monster is. Yeah, I can't recall who is all up there a- anymore. But the rest of us are down here. We just defeated the squid monster with the tentacles and the machine. And the the best of my knowledge, May mm-hmm. and possibly Lois might be the only ones not down with the squid monster. The squid robot. Okay. Right. I was just on my way down as you finished off the squid monster. Thanks to my grappling hook trick. I think uh, a lot of uh, credit's going to go to May on this one. <laughs> putting that out there. I mean, sure, man. Yeah, I Norm found a found a wheel on the floor. Oh yeah. I want to get cranking on that. But it's yeah, you, you yeah you you kicked into it right. Yeah, didn't really investigate it because of course it's under the red goops. So you couldn't really see it, but that's what it felt like to your foots. And you hear this shout through a megaphone from the floor above, you know, right near the spiral staircase. Hey, how's it going down there, clones? You recognize the very loud voice of Roz R H Y T with her megaphone. Hey, Roz, it's it's good to hear from you. Um, no, it isn't. She's still trying. She's so, how's that plugging and unplugging going? You done yet? Not quite. We're working. I think on we it, figured it out. Can you can you come down here? Let's drown her. <laughs> The computer assigned you this task. I'm just here to supervise, and I supervise you to do it. Get on with it. Okay. Norm would like to dive his head below the goop and submerge as much of his body so that he can grip the wheel on the floor and turn it a couple times. Easier said than done, because you float, and this is dense stuff. Mm. Can we hold him down? (laughs) Is there anything heavy we can put in his pockets? Yeah, you could certainly try. Put you. You could try. You know, sitting on him or pushing him down and holding him down. That might do it. Yeah, I'll I'll sit. I'll sit on him. (laughs) Yeah, it's just if if I start tapping you, that's. I think he's going to say if we taps, keep him down there for a while longer. Tap. (laughs) Okay. Kathy is immediately holding Norman down. Anybody else helping to hold Norman down? I'll assist. Why the fuck not? Right. Sure. Solomon. Indeed. Yeah, I'm a team player, and I'm a smart, so it should work. So, Norman, hopefully you don't swallow too much goo. No. How is it? Smells and tastes of strawberry. <laughs> it's yeah, red I it's like strawberry Delicious. breck shampoo. Yeah. Yeah. So you're, you, you do find the wheel. You kinda, you're feeling around, but you also feel, unmistakably, a body. Mm. Ooh. That mm. is, like, entangled with the, like the wheel. Like, it's like its, its arms are hooked through the wheel and stiff in place. Mm. I'd like to try to force the body away like kind of grab it and just like kind of wrench it off what kind of what kind of uh skill and ability are you going to try and use here for that uh can you describe the essential qualities of chutzpah all right so mostly when you're going to do something physical it's violence that you want okay i just i know we i was very fast and loose with it last time but sure you're, you're starting to get away with a lot of chutzpah with with the uh, computer here and the computer is going to start Deciding that no, oh, if you're doing something I, really physical, you're being violent. 
No, okay, I get it. I mean, it's literally the same to me. My violence and chutzpah are the same. I am curious if you could describe chutzpah because I glanced. At that's like that's like when you're trying to use your personality to get something done. It's similar to like charisma in D and D, say. Okay, like a little bit of force of will too. Like, yep. sort of. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Like, I'm about to go try to convince Ross to get her ass down here and get to work, and hopefully use chutzpah and some bureaucracy. Yeah, or something. Um, <laughs> I'm. I would like to make this a violence. Actually, I would like to make this a violence engineer check uh, as I try to use the stiffened corpse as like a sort of giant. I, instead of trying to turn the wheel, I'll try to turn the corpse. Like. Try to find where I can like maneuver it around that way. All right. And... Why don't you give me a roll? Okay. So my node is six plus one plus five for engineering. I got a three, a five, one five, a four, four, a two, and a six. So that's two successes. And successes. Then... For the computer, I got a five out of the computer dice. All right. So what you managed to do is, um, what were you trying? Could you describe to me what you were doing again? Yes. So if because this is like a round ship's wheel, right? That kind of yeah, valve. something like that. Yep. Uh, and With a body tangled in it. Yeah, the body's tangled in it. So instead of trying to turn the wheel, I can like just turn the body like a giant like wrench almost. Oh, sure. Okay. So I think with two successes, what happens is you manage to snap the arms. Huh? And they turn they turn a little rubbery, and now you have hold of a corpse. Okay, um, you've been underwater. Uh, well, underwater, you've been under for a bit. I'm assuming you're still being held down, right? Yep, I'm probably still being held down. Yeah, how well are you I'm... holding your breath? You got a you got a skill and stat Ooh. for me. Well, that's going to be violence, right? Probably. Um, <laughs> oh, violence. let's call this violence athletics. I think athletics makes the violence most sense, athletics. Right? That does work. Yeah, that works okay, for me. So that gives me zero dice. So that means I roll what again? Wait, what? Do you, so what are your scores? Uh, I've got a plus one to violence, minus one to the athletics. I okay. So what happens is you roll, you count the because you have a negative at all. You you roll okay. that as a positive. So you get two dice, but now every result counts. Okay, got like, it. Like like one through fours count as literal takeaways. Because okay. you have a negative score. Does that make sense? Yeah. Whereas before, we would we would normally just ignore anything not a five or six. Now they count as takeaways. Okay, cool. It's disadvantage. Yeah. I got a six. <laughs> you got, well, you got to roll another die. Oh, thank you. And a four. And a four. And a computer dice, please. Oh, computer dice, sorry. Mm -hmm. That's a four. Okay. All right. So you have zero successes because one minus one is zero. Mm -hmm. And uh, you take a level of harm because you're starting to drown. Yeah. Yeah. Hurt. Well, give us a signal, dude. We'll let you up. Yeah, I, I, I think at this point, if I'm starting to take harm from you know drowning, I'm probably yeah. flailing. Okay. Norm is now flailing while holding on to like this corpse. Just Solomon like... and Kathy, there's flailing underneath you. Oh, hey, let's let him up. You think <laughs> he's maybe he's almost got it. <laughs> um, I, I I am loyal to to him, and I think okay, we, we can let we him can up. Let, let's let Ron him up. And shouts ask out, him. Don't let him up. It yeah. sounds like he's almost got it. <laughs> we we let him up after just a little bit extra banter. <laughs> so Norm floats to the top, makes a big gasp, and holds up a corpse and says, ah, "Okay, I got this loose. Uh, can someone hold this?" Well, you unplugged it. Now go plug it back in, Norman. That's not ah. a plug. What no. are you thinking? <laughs> well. It was caught on the thing. I'm going to go back down there, but can someone hold on to this? Or he just floats it <laughs> yeah, away float from it away. He's like, okay, guys, let's do this again. Hold on. Before you float it away, I will go ahead and, Norman, I'll go ahead and let you get the first notice. So, you know, everybody can see names, right? So now mm -hmm. that you have the use of your eyeball again, your cerebral cortex, all of you get the name of this former clone. Daphne G, star, 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 six. Where oh. Star 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 would be garbled characters, and that's where their sector home name would be, and it's just Star Star Star. Mm -hmm. So six would mean the sixth clone, and that would normally be the last clone someone was given. So this is probably wow. all dead Daphne from who knows where, and around her neck is a cord, and on that cord is a key. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yoink. Oh, did you want to try and grab that before Norman has a chance, Solomon? Oh, if Norman's going for it, that's fine. I, mean, yeah. if I just he... want to grab before it floats away. Uh, Norman holds up the key and examines it closer. Um, does it look like a key card or is it like a physical mechanical key? It's a physical mechanical key. So it look, you know, you, you would fit it into a lock somewhere. 
It it looks like um a gym locker key, that kind of thing. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. And um there there are three capital letters stamped into the key. Oh, T H A. Huh. Neat. Could that be a sector name? Because they're all three letters, right? Yep, that's right. All sectors are three letters. I oh. reference my heads up display. Your cerebral cortex? Yes. It immediately tells you there is no sector THA. Knowledge of sector THA is treasonous. You get a treason star. But there is no <laughs> sector THA. Treason. You have a treason star. A, there's a treason star. Cool. Wow. Thank you. Did anybody else do the same thing? Go ahead and be honest. It's not going to kill you. Yet? <laughs> no. Actually, to be completely... Uh, I'm not even over there. In, in the interest of honesty, I was planning to make a brains plus alpha complex roll to like figure some, figure out if I remembered anything about that, but... None of you would remember this. You're just no. you're pretty new clones, as you recall. Okay, cool. So if can we tell that Solomon got a treason star because he looked up knowledge about... No, you cannot was? see anybody else's treason stars. Oh, Weirdly, yeah, I did that then, you, too. You, yeah. you were able to see was names, but you can't see anybody else's right. treason stars. Okay. Yep. Remember that traitor that you killed earlier by accident? Yeah. Uh, that guy, he had it coming. Yeah. Okay, I've got a treason star then. Okay. All right, put me back down there. I shove him back down. Okay. All right, blur, 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 blur. All right. You've got a good handle on the wheel. I turn. Oh. All right, give me a roll. Okay. This is going to be violence plus athletics, I guess, right? I'll take it. Okay. So that's going to be a zero. Um, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, this is plus one, minus one, right? Yeah, yeah. Plus one, minus one. Four and six. No success. Okay. So, yeah, no successes. So you, you're, 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 you're struggling to get it. You need, you need some more strength to pry that open. I start flailing again. That seemed to have worked last time. Yank him up and I say my turn. Okay. I, I hold Solomon down. <laughs> yeah, you hold Solomon down, right? Oh. Joy yep, Hilly. I'm still there holding them. I'm still there holding them both down at, Great. In, in turn. Can I violence and melee this thing? Like try and kick it or something? Yeah, I'll, I'll try to give it a good kick or a good yank or, or yeah. I'll allow it. Cool. So that's uh, plus three plus five. Oh, well, that's very good. So I have a six, a five, a four, a four, a three, a three, a two, and a one. You got two successes. Do I need a computer die? And a computer dice. That's right. One. You guys have been doing a good job not attracting the computer's attention. Which is good. What? <laughs> because the computer is really busy. We have nothing you know? to worry about. No, We're not right, doing anything. To worry about. Yeah. Anyway, so you managed to, you managed to like uh you know, you, you hack at it a couple times, it turns, squeak, squeak, you can kinda of hear the squeak, and it starts to lift up. And I as it lifts top. up, it starts draining the red dessert topping at an ever increasing force. I'm gonna get sucked in. Oh, it could be if somebody gets sucked in. There's three <laughs> of you that are right there. Oh, yikes. I need some appropriate rolls. <laughs> oh, I was going to say I'd let go right away because I'm selfish and I don't... Okay, yeah, <laughs> let go right away. So that's good. Yeah. So that, that's going to make it harder for roll. Solomon to survive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, but, but, you know, but, selfish, but even you, so you're still pretty much Solomon. right there. So Okay. So, so you let go uh, right away. What are we rolling? Can I do violence plus athletics? Violence plus athletics. Violence plus something. Can I do violence plus melee to fight my way past the other two? Yeah, actually, what I love okay. about that is that you're actually going to use, like, it's like, like a drowning person would. You're yep. actually, like, practically attacking them. So that's yeah, good. I'm going to push them under as I uh, <laughs> try to struggle away. Absolutely. So and what are the other two uh, of you doing? 8d6. Oh, that's terrible. That is terrible. And one for the computer. Wow. No successes on eight dice. Uh, three, three, oh, three, two, 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 one, one. And the computer was a three. So that's Whoa. Solomon. He was trying to attack you two. Whoa. Kathy and I Norman. shove my way past and, yeah, push you guys under so I could get ahead. So how about some rolls from Kathy and Norman? Okay, oh, so wow. Two successes. And a one for the computer. Hold on. Six and a five, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and a five good. for the computer. All right, Norman, how about you? Okay, um, I have no way to somehow make this an engineering problem. So I'm just going to go with athletics plus violence. So I'm going to roll two dice and count takeaways. Yep. That's a two. So one takeaway and another two. So two takeaways, one for the computer, and it's a five. Oh, wow. So this is, so Kathy, you, you're like, yes. Sol Solomon is struggling up and you're, you're not having any of it. So mm -hmm. you... You punch him in the face, which kind of knocks oh. him silly. 
And yeah. you also, like, as Norman is, like, trying to fail to get away, you, like, swing mm-hmm. your right arm, cack him in the neck. He goes down in pain, and both mm-hmm. of them are just sucked away. Sorry, clones. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's my nature. I'm selfish. All right. Anyway, so, Lois, we think you're up there with, Ro- like, Roz essentially came and blasted down through her megaphone right next to your ear, which probably annoyed the shit out of you, I imagine. So, Lois, you're up with Roz. May is on the stairs, almost in the goo, so May just managed to avoid the suction. Mm-hmm. And Kathy is on her way to be safe on the stairway, provided she can get on it. Dot, May? dot, dot, May, question mark. Mm-hmm. Greg is in the goo. We lost Solomon and Norman. So, Greg, you, let's do you next. You have got to find a way to get out of here without getting sucked down. God, story of Greg's last life. Okay. Yeah, anything, these violence athletics things to get out of the goo, which is what I was basically rolling yesterday, and can oh, only reasonably choose. I mean, I will offer, like, um, I know I know I'm calling on individual people and asking what they're specifically doing, but, mm-hmm. you know, if anybody wants to work together and has ideas for that, by all means, shout them here to the computer, and we will take, can take that into account. Otherwise, yeah, Greg is on their own. Yeah. I'll wave yeah. to both of you and say, come on, get up to the stairs. And I'll go up the stairs, not waiting to help them up. Right, yeah. Like, so I'm I not going to stop you. <laughs> anyway, so my athletics is a negative two. So here's both dice praying they'll both be sweet to me. They will not be sweet to me. I got a success and a failure. Okay, so, we're not even going to bother rolling for uh, the computer. You get sucked down. You, you lost a clone. Uh, yeah. It was supposed to be Greg number two. Greg number two was going to do it. Oh. All right, Greg number three. So wrong, so wrong. I think that's the last people that were in the goo. Well, come on up then, May. As you walk up behind Roz and Lois, you hear this shloop, shloop. And then a few seconds Uh later, shloop. And (laughs) just like shot out of the ceiling comes uh, Solomon 2, Norman 2, and Greg 3. Norman 3. Hey, guys. Oh, is it Norman 3 as well? Uh-huh. Fantastic. He he's got a little sharpie. He adds another like Roman numeral one to his to his uh, name tag or something. I don't know. Norman, by the way, weirdly, I mean, maybe maybe not weirdly, but you still have the key. Oh, that's good. Um, huh. hey that's guys, interesting. I still have the key, so that's yep. that's something. Yeah. So the red dessert topping is getting slurped down. Roz turns to you. She still, by the way, got her face right in the megaphone, and so it's going straight into Lois's face. Good job, clones, I guess. Now hurry up and get that plug back in, then. Wow. Is there any oh. syrup left on the ground? Like a bucket full of it? Like a five-gallon pail? There's lots of syrup on the ground. I mean, it's... You know, remember, it was like, uh, what, a meter deep? <laughs> okay. So there's like a there's like a drownable amount of syrup Absolutely on the ground. Absolutely a so. drownable amount. Should we drown her, guys? Hmm. Uh, maybe after we plug it back in. <laughs> Norman okay. proceeds down the stairs to go plug the uh, the thing again. Well, shouldn't we let it drain more to get more of the goo out? We weren't told anything about that. I think the sooner we do what we were sent down here to do and drown Ross, the better. <sighs> yeah, I'm downstairs. So there's a lot of suction. So as soon as you let go of the stairs. <laughs> Can we do some kind of like clone chain? How, like, how far from the stairs is the thing? So I'm letting myself get sucked. So <laughs> <laughs> poor word of choice. Whoa. And we have an episode I'm title. Going, I, I'm going to try to grab the top, because this was like a hinged, like, door, right? Uh-huh. Well, like, picture, picture like a submarine hatch, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to try to catch it as I'm going past it to see if I can use the force to make it close. Oh my god, I love it. Is anybody else trying to gonna help him? Now you're thinking like a clone. We're invincible. <laughs> no, uh, we've been not. made specifically for this purpose. I don't know what you want from me. That's fan I mean that's I I love this idea. Is there anybody else that's trying to help him in any way? Did you announce your intention or Norman? Or is this just no, like initiative? I, I don't need anyone else to do it. This is what I was made for. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it. Let's hear it. I love this so much. I love this so much, I'm going to give you a bonus die, just because it's so brilliant. Thank you so much, computer. Could I argue (laughs) that this is an engineering problem? You know, again, this is such a fun idea. Yes, it's an engineering problem. Okay. 
So I'm going to roll violence plus engineering because there's still going to be an element of like having to actually catch the damn thing. So with the with the computer's uh, benevolence running through my veins, I've got a total of seven dice to accomplish this. Yo! All right. Um, I mean, I failed with eight. One success. <laughs> Two successes. Two successes? That's Three. enough to hang. Three? I'm still rolling. <laughs> oh, okay. He's a... He, He's rolling one die at a time, isn't he? He is. <laughs> it's his dice. Four successes and one four computer. successes. I got a six on the computer dice. You got With a six the on the computer stage. dice. <laughs> All right. Uh, lose a point of moxie for okay. calling the computer's attention. <laughs> so here's what happens. You actually, yeah, it works pretty much like you wanted. Like you are getting sucked towards the drain. You grab onto the uh, the hatch, and you're on. You're like hanging onto the wheel, and you're like, "I've got a good grip on this." And you allow the force of the suction somehow manage to not get yourself sucked down, but you do allow like essentially that force of you to like you force the the hatch closed, and you're just about to start turning the wheel to like seal it shut again when the computer grabs your attention. Hello, clone. I see you have plugged the hole. Why did you not let the red dessert topping drain like we wanted? Oh, I apologize. I thought you wanted it plugged back in immediately. I will unplug it. Of course you will. The computer will be pleased. We need this red dessert topping to be cleared from this sector. Okay, computer. <laughs> Thank you for your sorry. attention to detail. <laughs> Do I have enough of a grip of it still to where I can... <laughs> you still have a grip, but of course Wait. you know... Um, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't hear through everyone's laughter. What'd you say? I said, yeah, you have a good grip. You, you rolled enough successes that you've got a great grip. But, you know, doing anything else is now something new. Okay, well, I'm going to try to use my little body to open it back <laughs> up again. I can't believe this. You I'm yourself such in an there. idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm rolling violence and athletics. I yelled with me. <laughs> I got you. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, I rolled violence plus, that's plus athletics, so yep. plus one, minus one. So I rolled two dice, and they yep. both came up as twos. Oh, oh <laughs> what a You know what? You were like, wow, this opened really easily. Suck. <laughs> 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 okay, but it's open again, right? Yep, it's open again. You were sucked down. And, you know, a few moments later, slurp, slap, this uh, new wet Norman number four <laughs> slams into the corridor behind the rest of you. Oh, hey, guys, I just talked to the computer, and we're supposed to keep the <laughs> thing open until the computer topic is done the training. We heard... Did we? No, well, in that case, all right. I guess we didn't. Well, we heard we heard the 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 result. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Did actually, Damon? Did we hear that conversation? We or didn't. Are we, still we didn't know that that we was didn't. all in that was all in Norman's head. Yeah. yeah. Does anyone know why Norman opened it back up? Sorry, Norman three, not you. Well, yeah, I know because <laughs> I was like there. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I opened it back up because. I talked to the computer and it said that it needs all the dessert topping to, to drain. Huh. Well, what are we gonna so do? So why aren't you letting it drain, clones? Yeah, what uh, what if we do if it never stops pouring from the reservoir up there? Rise rolls rise. Are you saying that there's an infinite amount of red dessert topping? Well, it's... maybe not infinite, but certainly. We'll find out how much dessert topping is up there. Get up there, clone. Uh, all right, all right. Steps are ruined. There's a bunch of like thick electrical cords to get up there, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, computer, uh, is there perhaps an alternate way, a back stairway around where we could, uh, that you could direct us to, to get up to uh, where this uh, reservoir and all that vat and the pipelines are coming from, please? I really appreciate you trying to think outside the box, but it doesn't look good for you to disobey a direct order from your superiors. Uh, uh, superiors being Roz? I yeah. would... I be trying to fulfill her order by by going up to investigate the um to investigate the vat. But I why don't you want to you know, climb up the stairs, clone? I thought the stairs are ruined. I'd climb up the stairs if I'm looking at stairs. I thought the stairs were ruined. They're there. Oh, they're covered in electrical cables and stuff. Slurp glooping down them. Yeah. Okay. And, yep. Well, as a matter of favor, I'm not doing.
doing too very well with the physical challenges. I'm not, uh, I've always had weak uh, lungs. Uh, so oh. I was wondering if I might find an alternate way. Should you not have been assigned to this mission? Should I reassign you to something more? How about the algae vats? Should we send you down to the algae vats, Greg? If you are ordering me to go up the stairs, I'll go up the stairs. Oh, it wasn't me that ordered you. Your superior officer ordered you. I think that Roz just wanted me to have a success. The the best way for me to get up there is to get up there alive. So I'm going. Roz is now suddenly joined in on this uh, mental link between you and the computer. Computer, she's disobeying a direct order. Yeah, it does look that way, doesn't it, Roz? I don't understand. It seems like you're being very reasonable asking her to go up there and check on how much red dessert topping is left. You lose 50 XP points. <laughs> and you have a treasure star. Oh, is it utterly necessary for me to take those stairs to get up and investigate the vat? Roz, I'm asking. Sorry, I should direct. Roz pulls out a red laser pistol and shoots you. You're dead. Great. I was this not is what happens. This is what happens to traitors and people who don't obey orders. Oh. Let this be a lesson. And the computer goes, good job! You can, as the computer announces like uh, through the hallway. Oh, a, a traitorous... Disobedient clone was rightfully killed by Roz. Everybody look at Roz and see what how loyal she is to the computer to make sure that only the best clones are available for tasks. Roz, 50 XP points for you. And then there's like this loyalty confetti comes out of the ceiling right around her. I guess All I'll right. clap. All right. Wow, that's that's really that's great. And then slorp, slap, there's a new Greg. Greg Four has seen through the veil, and he knows <laughs> how this game is played now. <sighs> All right. Norm would like proceed up the stairs. Hey, Norm, go ahead and go up the stairs. How okay. are you going to do it? Look. Um, <clears throat> I would like to. Oh. Did I hear that there are like wires running down the stairs? Yep. I... Okay. Yeah. Um. And these wires can they be gripped fairly easily? Sure. Okay. Um, <laughs> Don't get electrocuted. Say what? Don't get electrocuted. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, you better not. Okay. Can you just describe the stairs again? I apologize. It's a spiral stairway. There's all this red goop slurping down it. Okay. And down and down. And because of what May was doing earlier, there's now extra debris and stuff on these stairs in the form of like wires and rebar with bits of like alpha complex crete. Attached to it, stuff like that. So there are like physical things that one could climb on, but mm -hmm. they would constantly have like essentially a waterfall going past them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm going to try to, if no one else is doing anything. So I'm going to try to use my violence and athletic score to just climb Norm up, up the steps. All right, then. Because I, I can't engineer a problem. I, yeah. I, I, Neither can I. And I, I'm I don't just... know if I'm a bad player, <laughs> but. No. I don't know what else to do. No, honey, I can't do it because I can't do it. Like I, my, I can't. I'm. I got two takedowns, so I guess I'm dead again. That's cool. N no, you. Uh, what happens here this time is that you you don't, you don't quite make it over there. You you like you're on the stairs. You manage to make put, get onto this. Uh, you, like you hit this floor. Yeah. And Roz actually pulls you up disgustedly. Ugh. All right. Throws you aside. Stand aside. Have not, uh, May has been nodding sagely. Uh, I'll make that <laughs> violence and athletics run. I've got 5d6. All right. Thanks to my May, what? athletics. Where the fuck have you been? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, just picture May like nodding sagely at every decision everyone's made so far. <laughs> Upstairs. Got a 6 and a 5. That's good enough. And oh, here comes a computer die. A dose. All right. You're there. Back and there. Of, of course, you can't tell whether it's infinite or not, but you do know it's a vat. Mm -hmm. Remember, we determined that the last time. It's a single vat. Huge-ass vat. Yep. You just can't see really very, very clearly into it because of all the debris mm -hmm. and okay. detritus. So I'm not in line of sight of Roz right now, right? No. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to take a little time here as though I'm surveying the situation. Okay. Okay, and then I come down. Okay, I say uh, you see the megaphone just going to Roz's mouth as okay. you come as you pop your head your, your vision back. Yep, I just bring my arm across my brow. It was touch and go for a minute there, but <laughs> I managed to survive. Uh, it looks like there's quite a lot of more red deliciousness coming down, uh, but it's not 
and I say this with reasonable confidence, an infinite amount. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't think so. I mean, after all, if this was our only source of Red Dessert topic, there'd be chaos all throughout Alpha Complex. I mean, I think there is chaos. Is this our only source of Red Dessert topping? I seriously doubt it. We have to have plenty of Red Dessert topping for all sectors. It's the most in-demand flavoring. <laughs> Should we get some buckets and save this just in case? Do you have a bucket? Stick to the mission. Oh, yeah. But what if we went above and beyond to serve Alpha Complex? <laughs> I think above and beyond is is traitorous. So depending on how long you're going to stand here and wait, I'll just assume that it, it takes between one and two hours. But like after about an hour, you like the level of red dessert topping is definitely lower. So like, OK, it's it's starting to run out. And Ooh. if you let it go a bit longer than that, it eventually drains. I mean, everything is still sticky and awful, but it does drain. It's down the drain now and gone. I go downstairs and I start looking for plugs. That was two hours of fine small talk, clones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously, great A. Eh? Um, let's go. Uh, uh, Greg would go down there and um and plug, plug it in. back in, clones. You hear Rob yeah, shouting? Plug it back in. Uh, yeah, go. We would go henceward and do that. I know Norman would. I know that Brent just took the dog out, but Norman uh, yeah. would be on that for show. All right. So you you close oh. the hinge and tighten it up. Yeah, that's not a roll without the jelly in the way, is it, or is it? Yeah, I think you could just do it. Cool. Tighten her up. All right. Wait for the ba 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 ba. That's pretty much exactly what happens. <laughs> and yeah, you see, uh, all of you across your eyeballs, you see this thing, uh, this uh, this marquee go across your vision. Mission complete. And then a yellow arrow. Report to home sector and debrief. Okay. Okay. Let's go back to there. What's Roz doing? Uh, Roz is right behind you, smirking. And you see her go down the hallway, with which had the uh, red marking on it. So she cuts away from you all. God, I'm going to drown her. And disappears down that hallway. So I'm assuming you're, you're taking that circuitous route again that was discovered. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yep. You end up going past... Remember the pirates? Yes, I remember the pirates. Yes. The guy who was known as Infrared Beard. You now see that above his name, yeah, his name is now reading more or less normally. Tobias O. MLY. What's MLY? Uh, that's his sector. But O is level orange. Level orange, right. That so level up from red. Yep. They're looking very dispirited because their ship is no longer shipworthy and they're all covered in red dessert topping. Oh, yeah. And you can see that infrared beard, you can now see his name is clearly Tobias O M L Y. <laughs> no. <laughs> Tobias. I make sure that he knows that this is Roz's doing. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Oh, tell me more about that. Yes. What do you do? What do you say? What do you do? I use my chutzpah and charm mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to uh, try to explain to him the dastardly scheme by Roz to drain the hatch and how she used us as poor helpless pawns to do so. You went to Sector K-15? Is that where we went? Yeah, that's where you went. Yes. <laughs> and you came back alive? Yes. <laughs> Truly, you are brave. And who yes. is this Roz? She is a nemesis from Red Level. <laughs> nemesis. Is that? She's always she's mean. Is to that us. a secret society? No, she she's just mean. She's just she mean. might be in oh. a secret society. I don't know. <laughs> right. Nobody would be in a secret society. That would be treasonous. It would be, but Maybe she's she the reason is. you you can't pirate anymore. Well, thank you for that information, clone, and good work. Thank you. All right. So um, this leads you back through the lobby. You get to that uh, wonk mm hmm And you take the wonk back. And you're led back to the briefing room, which is now your debriefing room. And two things are different about it. Roz is there uh, already. Mm -hmm. And she's sitting smugly. And she's uh, right up next to someone whose name you can see is Vernon Y H Y T. Yellow? Yeah, he looks a little harried. He's round in face. He's balding. And what's also different about this room is that you can see that in the corner, there's a stack of, you know they're red troubleshooter corpses because you can see on like loose arms and legs that are that are poking out of the tarpaulin covering it. You know, it's it's red. 
suits. And there's also a poster on the wall, which reads, Were you involved in the Gehenna incident in Sector THA, which does not exist? If so, please chain yourself to the nearest heavy object and report your location to your Sector help desk. If you were not involved in the Gehenna incident, it did not occur. That's a relief. That's a relief. <laughs> yeah. Great. I'm sure glad that something I know nothing about, including its existence. Didn't happen. Right. All right. So Vernon is there, and you hear Roz. And he, Vernon's about to open his mouth, and Roz says, These are the incompetent clones I was talking about. If it wasn't for me, that plug would never have gotten plugged back in again, let alone unplugged in the first time. I think it's obvious who deserves the most credit for the success of this mission, Vernon. And Vernon says, I, I agree. The, what you've told me sounds very, very plausible and probably the most realistic situation. All right, Roz has got to go. Mm-hmm. Vernon. Yes. Did Ross tell you all the details about what happened? Well, what I have heard are about how you appropriated and misused Sector HOY tables to make a ship to float on. Can you explain why you did that? Yes. The tables are already damaged and likely to be disposed of. We decided to expedite our mission by using that debris to make our way to the uh, mission point as quickly and expeditiously as possible. Now, Sector HOY are missing... They're missing two tables, as it turns out. And that's those are tables that people cannot eat their squishy, crunchy cereal in the morning at. This is going to be... This is going to make Sector HOY... Considerably unhappy and less efficient going forward. Wait, your job is tables? He looks over at Roz and uh, and Roz like not like shrugs as if to say, "Yeah, I told you." Can I lay some charm on this guy to be like, "We really did this for a good reason"? Uh, sure, try it out. Yeah. Okay. So charm, and I'm thinking plus chutzpah. Okay. All right. Ooh, but only one success. Okay. <laughs> out of all Pretty that, nice. six comp. And that's a six. Oh, hey, hey, you hear the computer in your head. Actually, th- wait, this this computer, I think the computer actually comes into the debriefing room. Oh, good. Clone May, was it not your idea to obtain these tables and misuse them for the purposes of, what did you say? Expediting the mission? We definitely wanted to expedite the mission. Operating as a sort of consensus operated group, we made that decision. By the way, you do lose a point of moxie for attack- attracting the computer's attention when you didn't want it. I mean, when Roz abandoned us, it was really our only option. That's true. I did not abandon you. I took the most efficient route to Sector K-15. You know, when she took that most efficient route, I'm pretty sure I saw her float. Oh, yeah. The whole floating incident. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I would like to try something here. Oh, sure. I would like to use uh, chutzpah and uh, intimidate Mm -hmm. to knock Roz off her perch a little bit. Yeah. Sort of throw her off guard. Like it. Okay. Do you have a suggestion how you're going to use it? Yes, we're all going to gang up on her, um, and I'm going and I'm going to say, "Come on, Roz, tell the truth. You know, you know what you did." And look and look and look at her menacingly. <laughs> I love it. I'm trying to scare her. All right. Okay, so that would be uh, two plus five. That's seven. Nice. There's no way you can fail. <laughs> one success. I did get one success. Okay. And one for the computer. Hold on. Okay. The well, computer doesn't give you any more additional attention. Mm-hmm. One success is enough to stop the computer from questioning. So, like, the, co- the computer stops talking, but you assume the computer is still actively present now. We shall see. Okay. So, yeah, you've, 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 you've stopped the, the psychic damage, you think. And you hear, you hear Vernon say, why don't we move on to another topic? Uh, but, mm-hmm. you know, Still, Vernon, you are trying comes to... to gloss over a potential mutant. Roz has been a loyal citizen for several years, and I have seen no evidence of mutant powers in Roz. Mm. Roz looks furious, like she is she is as red as her as her uh, uniform now. And Vernon says, "Well, but on the subject of equipment, can you please explain the shocking condition of your mops, and how come one of you doesn't have a mop?" I don't think we need to discuss that, really. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was yeah, taken care of. Was. <laughs> Vernon turns to you, Lois. When you mean taking care of, you mean you took care of your mop by throwing it away? How careless! No, but but this has been discussed before. I think the computer knows, and everybody knows, and I, I don't I don't know that we need to discuss it at all, ever again. Mm. 
Well, you may not have your mop, but look at the condition of the rest of your mops. What did you do? What, are you, what were you clones doing with them? We were trying to stem the flow of the red syrup. I see. Ross said, yeah, but as you can see, all they did was damage the equipment for, to no good use whatsoever. Again, it was my quick thinking that made sure this mission was a success. Wait, you disappeared for when we were fighting the... Uh, yeah, you disappeared during half of the whole thing. We were down there on our own. I was organizing. Organizing what, face? Ross turns to Vernon, and Vernon says... He nods his head. He's like, yeah, I... Yep. So, how did you get past the rogue clone known as Infrared Beard? Too cunning? Improv skills, I think. <laughs> We were assisted by what? what what's Redbeard's real name again? Something O M L Y. Uh, Tobias. Tobias. Yeah, we were we were assisted by uh, Tobias O'Malley. O M L Y. And in what way were you assisted? He convinced Infrared to let us pass. Put in a good word for us. Oh. Roz looks a little flabbergasted. You can ask him. Yeah, Vernon. Vernon nods his head. Interesting. Can you identify the source of the red dessert topping? The red dessert topping vat. Yeah, a, a vat, a couple of floors up. Hmm. We identified a power surge that cost the computer a great many lost kilowatts. Were you responsible for this? No, we were just assigned to K15. We were just assigned there. Yeah, and it was in K15 that there was this massive power surge. Are you saying you didn't witness that? It looked no. like the vat when it uh, ruptured may have broken some power lines. Maybe that was the cause of it all. I see. Okay. How do you think that can be fixed? And why didn't you fix it? We were trying to stick to the mission. See what I was saying, says Roz? They don't think outside the box at all. But thinking outside the box is treasonous, Roz. Treasonous. (laughs) Roz says, it shows initiative for the computer. Are you not loyal to the computer in Alpha Complex? I am extremely loyal to the computer in Alpha Complex, which is why I am asking why you are not. Vernon says, I think this is a good time to wonder... If any of you clones noticed any anomalous behavior in any of the other clones around you. Solomon. I point directly at Ross. Yeah, and what did you notice? She floated down the hallway. Which hallway? The Red Sector hallway. How could you know? You can't go into the Red Sector hallway. I watched her walk down it. So she walked and didn't float. I see. May, are there any clones you would like to report to the computer as possible enemies of Alpha Complex? For I saw some possible treasonous behavior from the clones who gave their lives. It looked like they were trying to do some treason down there around that hatch, but then they got sucked in. I suppose a sort of poetic justice, if you will. That does sound reasonable. Lois, are there any clones you would like to commend for their helpfulness and loyalty to the computer? Well, I mean, you know, I really like all of my teammates, and I I, I really think all of the clones have done very well for the most part. I didn't necessarily notice any treasonous behavior. Roz looks at you like, what is wrong with you? you? Get the weirdest expression from her. I mean, didn't you think, Roz? Didn't you think people worked really hard? Including you. I mean, you're our fearless leader. Oh, I mean, it's true, isn't it? I did a great job. Thank you for noticing. You really did, Roz. You really, really did. And as a result, we were all inspired by you. See, Vernon? I told you they would back me up. Hmm. Okay, okay. One final question. And he looks at all of you. Did any clone try to recruit you into a secret society? <gasps> Gasp. Never. Well, I, somebody asked me to join a sorority once, but I, I never wanted to be a Greek. <laughs> <laughs> Is everybody just quiet? Yeah. Um, I shake my head. Yeah, I, I say no to the very notion. No. Vernon has a clipboard, and he starts flipping through the papers, and you see him check this, check that. He exits through something else. He tears off the bottom of one sheet, folds it, in pa- folds it in half, folds it in half again, puts it in his pocket. He turns the next sheet. He rips it in half vertically, gives a half to Roz, takes the other half, signs it, passes it back to Roz, takes the Roz's half, signs that, and keeps it. <laughs> well, and he flips through some more papers on his clipboard. Garvin got it. I think overall, I will say this was a success. I am very disappointed at the condition of your mops, the loss of the mop, and the destruction of of useful equipment and appropriation and misuse of equipment in Sector HOY. However, you did plug and unplug correctly, and the res dessert topping was cleared from Sector HOY. I think the computer will agree that you are each worthy of earning 150 XP points. Ah. And that should put you all well over 500. Sure. 
Mm-hmm. And he turns to Roz and says, however, Roz, for your exceptionally good leadership, the computer awards you 220 XP points. Oh my god. And Roz just, like, puffs herself up. She immediately marches out, but she gives a wink to Lois on her way out. Teacher's Uh-oh. Pat. No, but you guys, you guys, this is the whole, it's called psychology. We're ha- we have to, we have to pretend sometimes, you know? I got a psychology called drowning her. <laughs> Great, but let's wait on I'm gonna that I'm going to follow one. her into the bathroom and drown her in the toilet. Hey, computer. Yeah. I've noticed that some of my fellow clones are discussing the possible termination of a person with red status. I would like to report them immediately. Norman, who is this? Oh. Uh, that would be Lois and Solomon. Lois and Solomon, can you give an account of yourselves? Were you talking about hurting or perhaps even killing Roz? No, I was actually singing a song that I thought I heard recently, but I have to admit it was it kind was, of a violent let's song. Let's kill Roz, let's drown Roz. Yeah, it was something like that. And it was really strange because I thought, wow, what the name in that is Roz. Well, Norman, <laughs> the computer says, Lois seems an honest sort and loyal to the computer. However, Solomon, you heard the lyrics to that song. He is clearly a traitor. I will award you 20 XP points immediately for executing him. Okay. <laughs> I go to execute uh, uh, Solomon. I engage in fisticuffs with him. Okay. Okay. So I've got a... I'm going to try uh, melee and violence roll, and that's well. Be- to be to be completely clear, I mean, this is when we could everybody get a new hand of action cards. I he's going to paste me, so it's really it doesn't matter. Okay, Vernon is also right there, right? He sees this starting to happen, and just as the violence is starting to get up, he pulls out his yellow laser pistol and shoots Solomon and kills him dead. Oh, okay, that'll do it. And within a minute, schlurp. Rising right up from the floor and then landing on your back is a new Solomon. All right. So now, do we have enough XP points to where we can become red level citizens and serve the computer all the better and more <gasps> and better? Vernon says, "Yes, yes. You could be troubleshooters. You too could carry a red pistol." Red. Pistol, all right. Eh? Wow, I've always dreamed of that. <laughs> In some ways, you have because if you remain infrared, yeah, you'll be doing. What'll happen is you'll be like essentially drugged up, you'll have no conscious will, you'll be working some crap jobs. At least you'll, ha- you'll have your own willpower, and you can really do things if you're red. And you can boss around infrared people like nobody's business. Ooh. Hmm. Maybe we could send some to uh, kill Ross. Yeah. Good stuff, though, right? Solomon, have you learned nothing? <laughs> <laughs> this, is a, this is a completely new Solomon. This is a non-treasonous Solomon. All right. Whew. Yes. <laughs> But but he has just committed treason yet again. <laughs> <laughs> He's addicted to it. Fucker ain't one of us. <laughs>